Hello everyone, I hope all is well. There are two websites that I want to introduce. I'm sure that most of you uh, might have seen these word loads and maybe you wanted to use them somewhere, but maybe you couldn't find the most appropriate word load of your choice with the words uh, with the words that are included in the word load. So maybe some of you have already created these kind of word loads, but when you search the net, uh, some of the websites would ask you to to download an additional software and to install it. And uh, some other websites would ask you to to pay for these word loads. So there are two websites that are free that I want to share. The first one is wordedout.com. Wordedout.com. So, in order to create your, you don't have to register here. You don't have to sign up. You just go here, click create your own. All right, and then you will see this screen. And uh, if you have a paragraph, maybe the cows and the tiger, so you can write your own sentences. I just prefer to. Copy and paste. So that's it. Now uh, you have normal text. You you have tables here. You have uh, settings. If you want to choose uh, something, to exclude something, or to rearrange something. All right. And then you just need to click generate. So this is how it is generated easily. Now here you can change the font if you like. Or each time you click generate here, it will give you a new picture. Generate new picture. The the words are same words but when you click generate, it will give you a new picture where the font and the color and the layout will be changed. So what you need to do is to Copy this picture or print screen and paste it on paint and then cut it there, save it in your computer. So easy. So this is worried out. We create workloads of our own choice in just a couple of clicks. And so this is it. Alright, now creating these workloads is easy. But the hard part is to use these as educational materials. So I really wonder your opinion. How can we use these word clouds in our classes? I would be very interested in reading your opinions um, down the video. So please write in, in the comments so I can, I can read your opinions. The other one, this is worded out. The other one is workload. You have to in order to work later with your workloads, you have to uh, sign up and log in here, but still you can create without signing up. This is a little bit different because you know this will give you some shapes. So here you need to type your words, like let's say we are teaching animals or anything. Let's start with eagle and then line. Tiger, elephant. You can click either here on add or just click under the word that you added so everything will be alright. Make it more specific. Shark, for example. Alright, and so when you are ready with all these words you may come down now again we have some options here like upper lower capitalize okay depending on how you want your workload to appear now shapes now we have lots of shapes here we can check the shapes within the these categories or we can click all so for animals let's go to animals as this is going to be uh, an animal 
work load. So we can pick one of these, and we always have the option to to change the colors here. Okay, butterfly for example. Then fonts, if you want, you can change the fonts again. The layout, how do you want your your words to appear? Okay, maybe this one. Style. How do you prefer the background to appear, etc. If you have some uh, preferences here, you can change them. Now we need to click on visualize. When we are ready with all these words, etc., we need to click on visualize. Here we also have some options like do you want your words to repeat or do you want each word to appear only once? Okay, and the size and if there are any links, you now you can click on the links here. I'm going to tell you about these links in a minute. Okay, so click on visualize and this will take just a couple of seconds. We choose the butterfly shape. Alright, here it is. Now you see, and uh, as I said, we can always change the color. Now, see for example, or you can change these colors if you like. And uh, when you are ready with this, you can print it, you can download it. Alright, animated HTML. If you have a website, maybe you would like to. Uh, download this HTML file or maybe you want it as a PDF or PNG okay so you have different options you can also share this in your social media accounts or email it to your students or whatever you can save it and print it as I said so this is again workloads but you know we have shapes here with the other one we don't have shapes now here options if you don't want the words to repeat you may just click on none don't repeat show each word only once or manual menu you, you want maybe you want some words to repeat and some others you don't want to repeat so you can click here like this and okay right visualize okay these are the words that we entered and now you might ask your your students what is the hidden animal or shape here so it's going to be butterfly for example okay so if you are going to use these uh, workloads uh, with your online within your online environment like the, with your uh, smart board okay maybe you you want these shapes these workloads to be interactive so when you click on tiger you want it to go to a tiger picture or to to make a sound of a tiger for example so uh, this links option allows you manual for each word you know you can apply a link so when you click on these words okay it will directly take you to a picture or to an audio that you can use in your classes all right so this is word art and this one is worded out. Both of these are free. You can use them to create your workloads. So please let me know how we can use these or how would you use these in your classes while teaching something. Or maybe you would like to give these as homework to your students and so on. Right, these are the two sites, useful sites that I wanted to share. As you see, creating workloads is very easy. It takes not longer than two minutes, right? Not even two minutes, maybe in one minute. Okay, very easy. So these are the. I, I, I know that there are lots of there are lots of uh, websites that you can use while creating uh, your own workloads, but these are very easy to use. One just simple workload and the other one shaped workload. With this one, for example, if I should give one idea how we can use this. So this was my uh, my story. And this is a moral here. Okay, so first maybe I can give these words, these paragraphs. I can create one workload for each paragraph. Okay, and I can reflect these uh, 
uh, workloads on the screen with the projector and I can ask my students to write one paragraph by looking at the words in the workloads. Okay, so giving them two of these and then asking them to write two paragraphs and then this is going to be a kind of uh, writing activity first and then I can ask my students while teaching English of course as a foreign or second language and so then I can ask them to, to read their paragraphs which is going to be reading activity after writing and then we can speak about maybe the, the, the paragraphs which is going to be a speaking activity in the end we will try to find the the original moral of the story here unity strength so this is going to be with by creating by creating one workload for each of these paragraphs so with two workloads I can conduct 40 minutes in the class see first maybe you can check the vocabulary first you can uh, talk about the unknown vocabulary here make them uh, clar clarify them make them uh, understandable for your students and then after the vocabulary part you can go on with the writing part and after the writing part you can go on with the reading of each paragraph uh, or story and then talking about this which is going to be a speaking activity and so on so this is just one idea how would you use I really wonder how would you use these uh, workloads or shaped workloads where you can you know click on these and interact with these words and take your students to some audio or video materials so please let me know and I'll see you in the next video take care